I'm gonna tell you guys a story about how me and a couple friends stole over a thousand dollars worth of chocolate bars in fifth grade for a fundraiser for a school trip. It was it was crazy. It was actually like it was it was insane. Basically, what happened? <laughs> um, there was this room. Uh, in fifth grade, that was like there was a printer in there, and sometimes the teacher didn't want to go get the like pictures or whatever for like from the printer. So you know you'd have a student go get it because we were slaves. But <laughs> but anyways, we call it like the orange room mostly because all the walls were orange. Doesn't matter. But sometimes kids would get sent there, and what we found out was um, they were putting chocolate fundraiser bars in that room, basically. Um, you know those like chocolates that you like give for fundraiser because we were gonna go to like a school trip, for, like, for, like a fifth grade trip or whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, <laughs> one of my friends ended up finding uh, that room and like it was like you know in my friend group it was like oh my god oh my god this is this is revolutionary this is crazy this is insane we can we get them can we like can we can we you know maybe just like take a, like take a little chocolate bar and no one will notice. Uh, <laughs> this story, this story gets, gets intense, it gets crazy, it, and also the ending is horrible, and I, I feel so bad, but, <laughs> basically, um, one of our friends, I'm not gonna name any names, obviously, um, decided, okay, let's open up a box, let's take a chocolate bar, let's bring it back, and put it in our bag, because, you know, no, like, nobody checks your bag in elementary school, I don't know if they do that now, anyways, <laughs> basically, it was, um, so, you know, what we would do, and we ended up at creating a system out of this. It was a crazy system. What it was is you would, any, so basically anytime the teacher wanted you to go to the laundry room, we would always be, like, first people to go, because most people didn't want to go, because it was just like, why? It was also, like, a scary room, because <laughs> it's just, like, this, like, small room. It's, like, no bigger than, like, I don't know, the size of, like, a... Mini Cooper, like inside, and uh, so nobody really wants to go. So like, but we were like, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, and that led us down into you know, getting into your boxes. You know, sometimes you take one, sometimes you take multiple. We tried not to take like a whole box or like multiple boxes or not multiple like bars. We tried to take at least one, maybe two, maybe three. Um, but it became to the point where like, okay. We were starting to get like a rush out of it. This was like, you know, which don't steal. Don't stealing is so bad. Don't do it. Trust me, it, it, it's it's horrible. But basically, we ended up like getting this rhythm. Like, okay, uh, you know, we go boom, 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 and then we were like, let's play a little game. Let's play a little game. Basically, how you had it was um, there was a door, like the door in the classroom. There was a window in the door. I think almost every school has that. I don't know. But anyways, basically you had the door with a window. So now what we would do is, oh, can I use the bathroom? Can I use the bathroom? Can I use the bathroom? It, to be honest, if the if our teacher paid more attention, then, you know, it would, it would probably benefit him. <laughs> like, he would probably catch on. But our, fifth grade was the most craziest year. Not just because of that, but just because our teacher did nothing. <laughs> like, he literally just chilled on his phone and, like, would put, like, on, the, like, a Yankees game. Yeah, fifth grade was easy. <laughs> but anyways, um, what we do is, you know, we go to the bathroom. But because the bathroom was, like, headed that way, but the orange room was that way, we would have to sneak underneath the freaking like, the door to, like, or underneath the window to get to the orange room. And it was the most insane, I, like, it felt like it was, like, in a movie, like, trying not to get caught and stuff like that. And then, like... Most teachers wouldn't bat an eye, just because, you know, almost every teacher would send, like, a kid to the orange room. And since we were fifth graders, you know, the oldest in the school, in elementary school, it's like, <laughs> we can do whatever. <laughs> we're basically seniors. But, <laughs> but that was the mentality that we had, so, you know, we kind of use that to our advantage, but at the same time, things got messy. You know, we're kids, we were like... I don't know, however old you are in fifth grade. We didn't know that schools have cameras. <laughs> yeah, so to be honest, most of the year went by, no sweat. I mean, this was more like, this was like in May, I want to say, because the school trip was at the end of the year, like the last couple days. But 
Anyways, um, yeah, so it was, you know, we just kept doing it, we kept doing it, we kept doing it, and I, I don't know if this is true or not, it's, it's the, the, the thought is a little bit crispy, but I think what we ended up doing was, there was a day where there was, oh, yeah, yeah, there was a day that, um, you know, it was the end of the day, you know, we're packing up, everything's done, and the thing that we did at my elementary school was, you weren't allowed to leave the classroom until your bus got called. However, the teacher doesn't know what bus you have. I mean, they could look it up and find out, but it, like most teachers don't really care because it's the student's job to you know find out which bus gets called that you have to go on that's there, and then you go on it. Makes sense, you know, it's the student's you know job. But you can technically leave the classroom when your bus is called and just walk around the halls. Sometimes you do it, and sometimes people never care. Sometimes you get caught, and some teachers will just be like, "What are you doing? Just roaming around the halls." Yeah, 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 whatever. But there was um, somebody in our friend group that ended up doing that, but went to the orange room and took a whole box of chocolate. Yeah, a whole box. Yeah. It was it was a crazy play. It was a smart play. To be honest, we thought we were geniuses, but the more I'm thinking about it now, I'm more realizing that, like, you know, the stat, like, this is, like, the principles and stuff were just, like, looking at the cameras, probably watching this, like, these guys are idiots, and then, um, but here's the, here's the thing, nobody stopped us when we got, when we started the fundraiser, so when we started the fundraiser, when, like, you know, our family got, like, the chocolate, or, like, when we brought home, like, the chocolate bars to sell, they never said anything to us, anything, not a single word at all, nothing, until a week was a week, it was a couple, it was like, or, it was like the week, or like, I don't know, it was a couple days before the trip, we got called to the main office, <sighs> guys, I'm a good kid, I didn't get into much, tr too much trouble, I was, I was nice, I was, I was like, I was just like there, I was just there, I was like the, I was just the, I was that, just the there kid, I don't know if that makes any sense, if you get it, you get it, but, <laughs> Oh my god, was it the most stressful thing? Because at first, they put all of us in, you know, the, the principal's office. And at first, or no. No, they didn't do that. No, they, yeah, they didn't do that. What they, what they did was, they took us one by one. Here's the thing. Me, being the solemnly good Christian boy that I am, and also... I don't know, but <laughs> I was the last person to go, and this was the most messed up thing we, like my friend group did, um, I moved schools by the way, I don't talk to any of them, I never did, anyways, it doesn't matter, <laughs> we, the kids in my friend group blamed it on this one kid, he was... He was also, you know, doing the scandalous stuff, you know what I'm saying? He was also there. And then, you know, when it was my time, because they were doing it, like, during lunch, so, you know, everybody's in lunch, and, you know, one by one by one, and I was like, oh, God, in my neck, because I was hoping, I was like, please, just don't, don't do it with me. But that was the thing, like, when we got, when they got back to lunch, they were like, okay, we blamed it on this kid who wasn't here that day, and then it was like, genius, genius, and, oh, my God, I'm so sorry I lied. But, like, I, I said it was that kid. I'm just going to call him Ralph. Was Ralph his actual name? It, I don't know. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah, we all blamed it on that kid. And I feel so bad because the next year he moved. Um, I don't know if it was because of that. I don't know if it was because whatever. But I felt so bad. And uh, there's that. Yeah, so it was funny, though, because I remember... Him saying, the principal saying, you guys stole over a thousand dollars worth of chocolate bars, which, you know, that's a lot of money, that's a lot of money worth of chocolate bars, which is insane, by the way, but that's a lot. To be honest, it, we didn't really pay attention to how much we were taking, we were just like, taking, like, grab and grow, grab and grow, grab and grow, grab and grow, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, we still went on the, the school trip, so, it was like, whatever, <laughs> but... Moral of the story, don't steal, don't lie, and make sure you pick the right friends. 
But fifth grade was a fun year, dude. We had like a kickball tournament, but we all got, I don't know, there's just so many stories I have like this. Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace.